All right, Homesteader family, welcome back to the journey. Thank you for being a part of the journey, and don't forget to share the journey. And welcome to this edition of Sunday Monday Vlog. So these are little stem trees that were mailed to me, a little twigs. Some of them are starting to finally bloom. I put them in uh, the pots of the flowers that I bought. And then what I was showing before was the fence that you saw uh, I got taken care of before uh, last week. And I uh, went ahead and wire tied the other three T-posts. So all that is complete across the front. But I've had people ask about my fruit trees. Uh, some of the fruit trees are still coming back. You can see uh, they're just now starting to push out leaves uh, on three of the trees that I have. Of course, the fruit trees, I stopped watering uh, when I was living at my last place. And they died off and then some of them keep coming back so uh i think i've got six or seven that are still standing and only three of them are pushing out leaves this year so eventually uh, i'm gonna when i run the excavator this year i'm gonna go ahead and dig uh big square holes uh for fruit trees for next year and then next year I'll do that because i got to get the excavator to dig the parking lot back there. And then this whole front line uh, on this side of the fence, I'm going to dig a long trench like I did for the flower bed. And I think that's where I'm going to put my bamboo so that way I have the screen for the dog. So there's Max there, Minnie Mouse. We got Mickey Mouse and Chubbers over there on the end. Uh, but I'm thinking that will give a nice uh, screen across that will help cut down on the wind. And then if the and it's close enough that I, I can stretch the hose out and water it and keep up with the bamboo. And if it survives, then I'll go ahead and buy more bamboo uh, next year, 2021 and the following year. And I'll keep putting new things. So over here, I'm doing uh, the six foot fence. So this whole gate's going out, all that fence is going out, this post is coming out, and I'm just going to tear everything out, and the post right there, I'm going to have the fence come diagonal across, and then it's going to be going down uh, towards the pond, and that six foot's going to go all the way around to the other side of my where the house is going to be, so that way I can keep the animals out and uh, it's a non-animal area. And then I started building this since a goat knocked over a little boy. So I'm going to grab a couple more panels. I'm going to make like a crown type thing. So people can feed the cookies in there. And then all the ha hair on the ground is from the alpacas and llamas that I've been shaving. But like I said, I'm going to attach the fence to that H brace. Take you all the way down. All this six foot fence that's up right now is going to come out because it's not stretched. So I'll be getting that all uh, stretched all the way down. So it will be nice and strong for camels and any other big animals I get in the future. And then all the baby chicks you can see just moseying around. Everybody lives happily together. And uh, we've had a windy, windy day today. Uh, torrential downpours on Saturday so of course no business on Saturday and then today I ended up with nine people today and Friday was a big day I had 17 people on Friday so slowly but surely uh, it's coming along and growing so I had these I still got to uh, build that other H brace fence is going to come down connect go over and then across the front so I'll be getting to that and I'll show you what I'm going to do uh, down on the other side once I get over there. Because like I said, the fence is going to go over there. And then I got this H brace built uh, for the pond and I did a four foot fence here. So that way people can look over uh, the fence down uh, at the ducks and everything like that. But four foot is tall enough that I don't have to worry about kids or anything falling in or slipping down on the side. And then with the excavator, when I have it, I'm going to dig all this back a little bit more uh, to widen because I didn't want the fence right on the edge. Uh, so I brought it over and then down on the other end um, because I don't have the culvert and all that stuff done yet. I have this pile of dirt you see there on the ground that I'm going to be using to uh, backfill and get everything situated. And then, of course, all the ducks and geese houses down there. And... Uh, 
it's just a project. It's a big old, big old project. And all these T posts you can see are wire tied, uh, going all the way down. So all that dirt, I'm gonna be moving over on the uh, edge over here, so that way that fills in uh, to help with the erosion for now. And then I'll have to bring more uh, a little bit later, but I'll work on that another day. Um, and then of course everything's going to be a uh, farm up there. And then when I have excavator, I'm going to pull some of this dirt back at a, a longer angle. So it's easier for the animals to get down to the water and get back up. And then here I'm going to have the corner post. And then right here, I'm going to have a gate and then I'll put an H brace right on the other side of the pile. And this is going to be the new road, uh, where I can have the ATV right over here at the gate. So if something happens or anything, I can just open the gate right here, drive right into the animal area, and I go from there. Plus, if I need ambulance or something, they can come through the front gate all the way to this gate. Don't have to worry about animals escaping or anything like that. And then, like I said, I'm going to run the fence all the way up there on the other side of that uh, wellhouse shed that I built and go from there so you can see the animals walking here they've knocked some of this down so i've got to bring more of this backfill in like i said i'll be doing it this week and uh not too bad for a fence nice and kind of straight a lot better than what i was doing when i wasn't stretching fence so uh, now that i know how to stretch fence and do a fence properly i can get a lot more done and you can see all the goldfish over there just hanging out just a big orange puddle so enjoy your week. I'll see you guys on the next Sunday, Monday vlog. All right, homesteader. So I had a horrible, horrible day yesterday. Got flaked on by an egg customer. The truck broke down, started back up. That goes in Monday uh, to the dealership to have it looked at once again. Only at 56,000 miles now and still issues. Uh, the worst vehicle I bought, even worse than my Craigslist specials that I used to buy all the time. Uh, then, on top of that, I did laundry, put my laundry in the dryer, and somebody stole all my clothes. So, not only did I lose some of my regular clothes, but I had all my hoodies and all my work shirts in there. So, that was like $300 worth, all up and gone. Asked the lady if she saw anything, and turned out... It was that lady when the owner looked up on the camera. So uh, Canyon City Police Department is going to be looking into that. But my new pickle today <laughs> is I've got to get fencing done. Now, the PTO shaft, yes, I forgot the name of it in the uh, Sunday Monday vlog. Uh, I got a new PTO shaft from Tractor Supply. It's the right length. But the problem is this dirty hand tools, they went out of business and it's like two weeks to get a uh, replacement shipped in and I don't have two weeks to wait because I got had the fencing done in less than 18 days now. So the PTO shaft of course fits on the PTO and it comes onto here but then this next ring widens so you can see uh, this outer ring is the same as this uh inside in between then i have a lip right here all the way around so what i'm gonna do because i don't have the time to wait and i don't want to mess with this because if i can't get it to work then i want to be able to take the pto shaft back but i got the angle grinder out what i'm going to do is this ring right here i'm going to grind that ring down so it's flat with the inside here and with this one here and then hopefully it will slide all the way on because the first little bit slides on until that second ring and then it stops so i know it will fit it's just that ring's a little bit bigger so i'm going to get that grind down and uh, if that works then uh i won't make a video if it doesn't work i'll be coming back talking about the headache that i have and uh it's a pretty decent day. I don't think I'm going to have business today because it's been cloudy. It looked like rain for a while. You can see all these clouds here. So from Canyon City, you know, they're going to see all this mess. And uh, people probably aren't coming up today. But 
if I get visitors, I get visitors. This is the great thing about having a business here at the ranch where I live because I can continue to work. And uh, if people show up, they show up. If not, I just enjoy my peace and quiet. So I hope everybody's having a great day. I'll talk to you later. All right, check that out. The PTO shaft is installed. So my idea using the angle grinder, it took me a little while because that metal is real hard to grind. Uh, but I got it grind down and it slips right on, slips right off. I got the shear pin bolt in it so I can go start drilling holes. So we're in business. Go throw your All right, YouTube family. My <laughs> I got Kim here. Kim's over here. She's half naked. She don't know what she's doing. I'm cleaning but up. We all know I bought all this juicy fruit for the mice. And uh, when you're 33 years old and you're an alien and aliens live to 200, that makes me right before puberty. That's why I'm still immature. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do unwrap gum to put out for the mice and I start the wad war on who can get the biggest wad of gum in their mouth I think I won everybody says I got a big mouth I sure do so this is what happens on the homestead part of the journey when friends come to visit we have wad wars talk to y'all later